Hi, I'm Nabil Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you everything about checkbox in GUI design or widget blueprint class in Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, let's begin. If you follow along with my videos, you know that I did create a blueprint widget class and in my character class, I create the, this blueprint that I did create in uh, content drawer in here, this BPW hot. And in my character first, I use this node to create that and after that add it to viewport. So no, whatever you put in this canvas panel, it will be shown as a hot or GUI, right? So I'm gonna show you the checkbox, everything about checkbox. So let's just add one in here. And if we zoom in here, you can see that this checkbox is here. So let's just compile and see how it looks like. And you can see it is here. We can click on it and check it. You can see it, okay? And first of all, this checkbox is a type of uh, a widget that we can put things in it, like text, right? So we can add a text as a child to the checkbox, right? So in here, first of all, you know that whatever you put in canvas panel, in here it will create a canvas panel a slot for you. And I did talk about it a lot, right? So just watch my all my videos about GUI design in Unreal Engine 5. It's for beginner and I did show you everything in detail like I'm gonna do in this video. So I did talk about all of this and let's just head, check this size to content and you can see the slot now support all of the content inside it. This checkbox and the text block that is inside this checkbox. So let's leave it that. So let's just compile and run and you can see there is a text block beside this checkbox, right? So let's just again click on this checkbox and first of all the appearances the checked state okay so if you leave it at unchecked it will be unchecked and if you put it at checked you can see it's at default it will be checked right so and if you leave it and undetermined it's like you the declare didn't determine that it should be on it should be checked or it, sh it shouldn't be checked so that all that this check state is about okay at the end of this video i will show you everything about this checkbox how to control it how to get the state of this checkbox in blueprints so wait for that next thing this horizontal alignment that we you can align this checkbox to the right to the left but you can see uh, nothing happened when we uh, select one of these i don't know why it may be because of the bug in uh, unreal engine but let me check it out if we change the size of this um, a slot in here let's just change the y like this change the x as well and if we again click on here you can see nothing happened so let's just delete this text block and see if we change this you can see that nothing is happening let's just compile and you can see again let's just compile nothing happening i think it's just a bug in unreal engine but maybe when you watch this video this this will be fixed okay Control z to go back and size to content i want to be there okay so this horizontal alignment right now it's not doing anything i think because it's a bug in Unreal engine 5 and it will be fixed soon and let's just collapse this next this is style okay so there is two type of checkboxes one is checkbox and another one is a toggle button and what this toggle button is let's just compile and run and you can see the checkbox has two states either it's toggled on or it's toggled off so let's just change it back to checkbox both of them it's exactly like each other in checkbox you can do whatever you want to do in toggle button as well why because it has image for all the state so for you can set an image for when it's unchecked or you can just have a tint color in here okay and you can have an image in here for when player hover over this checkbox you can have an image for when player unchecked <laughs> press on this checkbox to unpress it okay so that that is this you can just set a image for this as well of course you can just use a color in here okay so next is the image of checked image you can see it in here it's just by default is this in here of course you can change the color in here as well for example like this and compile and you can see when we click on it and we check it you can see that the color of this check check is red now and you get the idea how it works the check image is for when you check that checkbox the checked hover image it's when you hover over this checkbox and you can set a image for that and you can get the idea what the rest is doing right the next is this padding uh, for example let's just change this left padding to 20 and now you can see the 
distance between the left side of this text box and the right side of this checkbox is 20 pixel now and for you can have it for top right and bottom let me show you right as well and you can see this text box is a, a part of this checkbox right so let's just go to the next option and in this here you can check you can change the background image so for example we can use a color in here let's just change the alpha and change this to red but it's not working i don't know why um this all of this kind of setting in here it's not working in unreal engine for no but in future they will fix it i'm sure and you get the idea how others is working it's this one is for background hover image if you hover over it it, it again explain it what what they are and all of this is again for changing foreground colors so for example if you check this what this foreground color should be at default it's white but you can change it when you hover over this checkbox or you check it you can change that um, as well and in bottom in here you can set a sound for your checked sound unchecked sound and hover sound and you know that by know how to do it because i did talk about this kind of stuff a lot so like all the text buttons and all of that it has accessibility interaction behavior like tooltip text that we did talk about it like this is enabled like this visibility just watch my videos about gui design in Unreal engine 5 it's a playlist if you watch it from the start you will learn a lot because i start from scratch and explain all of these options in details so i don't want to explain all of this again and it, the important one is to get the state of this checkbox okay so for getting that if you click on this checkbox and check this is variable what you do if you go to graph you can see that it will create a variable in here for that and you can see it in here the type is checkbox okay i, I don't think that you can see it because it's blue and um, you should zoom to see it okay uh, i didn't see it at first so first thing we can just get this checkbox like this okay and after that check for is checked okay and with that it give us a boolean so if it's checked it will give us a true and but if it's unchecked it give us false okay so for example we can um, give it to the to a branch okay and in this branch we can check the true or false of this checkbox but there is a better way what is that way the next way to do it that is better than this is by right clicking in here and say get checked get, get checked stats but it's not showing us because we didn't drag from here and but if you uncheck this context sensitive you can get it get checked stat okay so with this we can give it this in here and in return value it give us a inu and you can see it it's type of e checkbox state inu you can see it at a uh, bottom right corner of, of the mouse you can see it the this tooltip that is showing us it says that is inu if you drag and drop from this and say switch on e check box state you can see it that with that it give us all the state of this checkbox one for unchecked one for checked and one for undetermined so if it's unchecked it will execute whatever that is connected to this execution pin if it's checked it will execute whatever that is connected to this check pin and you get the idea how it works but again there is a better way what is that let's just compile this and go to our designer and in here there is a uncheck state changed okay and if we click on it in here you can get the state of this on um, checkbox so for example let's just print that let's just say print a string whenever the state of this checkbox zero changed it will execute this print a string for example and it will show you the state of that so let's just compile and run and change this it's false now and you can see top here true and false and you can see it we get it with this unchecked state changed you should decide which way you want to use you know that in most of my video i will show you um, old way new way and some way to do one thing and you can decide whichever is better for you and that was all about this checkbox i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button very much important to me and please if you can leave a comment tell me what should i do to make my videos better uh, and thank you very much for watching bye